A patient of pneumonia who is under the treatment for last 10 days has a fever with chills. Nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. On examination, there is tachycardia, rapid breathing, low blood pressure, suspecting bacteremia with the staph aureus. Specimen should be collected from. Out of these four options, what is your answer? You might be thinking about, oh, pneumonia, so sputum should be the answer. Now, please be careful. Patient is already under the treatment for last 10 days. And now patient is having what? Tachycardia and a low blood pressure. Low blood pressure. Remember here, first of all, whenever there will be increased heart rate or increased pulse rate and a low blood pressure, we should be understanding the fact that patient is going into shock mostly. Right? And here, especially suspecting bacteremia. So, septic shock. Right? Septic shock. Here, especially examiner has mentioned it's suspecting bacteremia. What is the meaning of bacteremia? Bacteremia means bacteria in blood. So, which test you are going to do now? Yes, you have to do blood culture. Blood culture. Is it to understand? Answer is D. Suppose if there was the case of UTI, okay, then you can collect this sample from urine. If a fresh case of like if you suspect uh, like the TB or any kind of pulmonary, at that time you can do a sputum test. Vomiting and all in a case of food poisoning. Is it to understand? I hope all these points are clear to everyone. And now how to differentiate bacteremia and sepsis? See, bacteremia is milder form of infection, which can be self-resolving also, or you can treat bacteremia with normal antibiotics. But sepsis is very, very serious. Here you have to give very, very high dose of antibiotics. Very, very high dose of antibiotics and you have to give what? and you have to give a strong dose also. Okay, now what are the clinical conditions which show bacteremia? See here, suppose if there is a case of UTI, urinary tract infection, yes, you can take the sample from urine, respiratory infections, sputum, superative lesion, pus, right? If there is a case of bacteremia, right? Fever of unknown region, yes, blood, yes, blood culture should be done. In a case of food poisoning, you have to take vomiting you have to take fecal matter and food also in a case of any carrier yes you can take nasal swab you can take perianal swab all these points are easy to understand and important for your exam